is begin to trust God. Now, how do I trust God? That means that I got to, number one, recognize that I am in a condition. Amen. I got to realize that I am in a place, if you will, and I have to bring it to God to the point that I trust him enough that he is going to handle that situation. Amen. Because I'm in a place. I can't help myself. The fear and the and, and me being a friend has overtaken my literal being. Amen. And my body is even reacting. Amen. My I become sweaty and and and, and my hands are clammy and, and I'm nervous and my heart is palpitating. I'm in a place, but I want to let you know that the Lord is letting us letting us know all we have to do is trust him. Amen. Give it to him. Amen. And so we have to be big enough to say, Lord, I need your help. This thing is wearing me plumb out. Amen. This circumstance is getting the best of me. Hallelujah. And my nerves is on blast. Hallelujah. And that's what the Lord wants us to do. He wants us to come clean and just understand where we are at, but trust him to know that he is going to take care of that. And what I love about him, when we come clean to God and we let him know, I understand where I'm at and I need your help, guess what he's going to do? He is going to be a present help in the time of trouble. So guess what? When you're having those moments, you are in trouble. Hallelujah. Because that is not God. That is the attack of the enemy. Hallelujah. And he is trying to make you fearful to the point that you you will not believe that God can help you. But I want to let you know, God is a present help in the time of trouble. And he said to cast all of our cares upon him, for he careth for us. Amen. So today, don't deny the anxieties. Don't deny it. Mm -mm. Be real about it. Don't deny it. If they are there all you got to do is be real today, this moment, this second. If you've had those moments, be real. Don't deny it because it is real. You